Triage centers were set up near heavily affected neighborhoods to care for those who could not immediately be transported. Medical personnel from outside the area volunteered their services, some driving through the night to help. Thousands of residents were left without homes. Temporary shelters were opened in churches, schools, and community centers. The American Red Cross and local aid organizations provided food, blankets, and emotional support. Survivors spoke in hushed tones, stunned by the destruction. Many had lost family members, neighbors, or close friends. As word of the disaster spread, volunteers poured in from nearby states. Some brought tools and supplies, while others simply offered their time and labor. Neighbors worked side by side, clearing wreckage and searching for missing persons. In the days that followed, rescue operations turned to recovery efforts. Heavy equipment was brought in to remove larger debris and uncover the remains of buildings. Damage assessment teams began documenting the extent of the destruction. Preliminary estimates placed the cost in the billions. 